I've been daily driving the Apple Watch Series 5 for many months now, but the Series 6 is about as unexcited as I've been for a daily driver update in my memory. Now, part of it is that the Apple Watch Series 6 is just not a very big update. So you get the new S6 processor, but from what I've seen people talking about so far, daily use is pretty much unchanged. You get an altimeter, so you can tell how high you are. You get, actually that would be a useful feature for a lot of people. You get a blood oxygen monitor, although there's a fair bit of um, debate as to well, how accurate it is and you get a brighter always on display. Now I'm a big fan of always on displays. And in fact, that's one of the reasons that I wear an Apple Watch Series 5 on the daily, not because I daily drive an iPhone. I happen to be daily driving an iPhone right now because I'm working on my 12 Pro review, but normally I don't. I just use it as a watch. And it's sort of my, it's my protest against the deplorable state of Android wearables. If Android device makers could make a better one, then I would switch to that. This device serves no purpose other than for me to tell the time. Now, technically, it does still have all the same fitness tracking capabilities that it would if it were paired to an iPhone. It's just that I find them, quite frankly, pretty useless. Half the time, I'm in the middle of a really intense workout. I'm moving around a ton. My heart rate's at like 185 and it's like, hey, why don't you stand up for a bit? And the other half the time I'm driving and it's like, great workout, Linus, <laughs> keep it up. <laughs> like, okay. And the stupid part is again, back to the deplorable state of Android wearables. My experience with it has been better than any other one as far as fitness tracking goes. All right, let's open this puppy up. Wow, that's uh, huh, that's an Apple watch, all right. One thing I would have been really happy with though is the quality of this just like generic fabric strap that they include. I guess I shouldn't call it generic. For a Velcro-like material, this has held up incredibly well to, I guess almost a year of use. Like it still works just exactly like the day I got it and it's not all fuzzy on the spot where it always sticks. It's called Velpro. Vel Velpro. And then there's Vel SE. It's like not quite as good. Yep. Okay, we apparently got 44, wow. Oh crap, if this series five wasn't greasy, it would be kind of hard to tell the difference. Okay, it's got, I've got a matte finish, matte finish on the series six. Other than that, these things are darn near identical. You got the one button, you got the crown, you still got the little red accent on the crown. Same watch strap attachment mechanism. I love that this is toolless. Like that is a, that is a big deal, not having to, fiddle around with a little weird tool or screwdriver or anything like that. Like why did that take the watch industry, you know, 200 years or whatever. One other key giveaway actually is if you look at the sensor array on the back, it does look a little bit different. So the series six, uh, the altimeter is obviously not uh, something that needs to go right up against your skin, but the blood oxygen monitor presumably is part of this new and updated looking sensor array. There's some software updates too. First, let's uh, pair it to the phone though. Start pairing. I love this process so much. Oh, that's cool. So set up for a family member. This is interesting. One of the new software features that they launched with the Series 6 is the ability to buy an Apple Watch for your kid instead of having them equipped with a cell phone. And then you can set it up as a managed device. I thought that was pretty neat. I love this. This is Apple's fancy QR code. It's wonderful. Oh, got a Teams notification. Got a Teams notification there. Squarespace. Squarespace is the all-in-one platform that makes it easy to get your website up and running quickly. They have award-winning templates, so you can use them as a starting point for a wide range of projects. And they've got e-commerce features that help you sell merch or services online and easily manage your inventory and orders. If you need help, Squarespace has you covered with 24 seven customer support via live chat and email. Check it out at squarespace.com slash short circuit to get a 10% discount. Let's actually talk about the Apple Watch SC. So it replaces the Series 5 in their lineup. It comes in a little over $100 cheaper than the Series 6. And the main difference is that it uses the older S5 processor. It does not have the new blood oxygen tracking feature, although it does have the altimeter. And where the Series 6 gets a brighter always on display, the SE does not have always on display at all. So in my honest opinion, uh, Apple shouldn't call this the Apple Watch SE. They should call it the Apple wrist ornament that 
is blank except when you do the silly gesture and they shouldn't be allowed to call it a watch at all. That was one of the big things that made me super happy about the Series 5 was that it finally had an always on display. So if you wanna save a hundred bucks or so, this is an option, but personally I would go out and try and find a secondhand Series 5 so you get that always on display because otherwise the only difference here is that this one has the altimeter and the Series 5 doesn't. So unless you do a whole lot of like, high vertical biking or, or jogging or whatever else. I don't see a ton of value to it. Oh, that's interesting. Oh, I saw someone claiming online that as part of Apple's eco-friendly policy of not including chargers, there was no charger included, but you do get the wireless like dock thing for it. It's just that you don't get a wall wart, but I actually thought there was no wall wart included with the previous one. So I am, uh... Not sure what to tell you guys about that, other than that there is no wall ward included if you were expecting one. But with something like the watch, honestly, it doesn't really bother me that much. By the time you're the kind of person that has like wearable devices, I would expect you to pretty much have a USB charging hub or even a wireless, like multi wireless dock sitting on your nightstand. Neat, I haven't touched the Apple Watch app in quite some time, so I can change my colors. Ooh, look at that, change my colors. I can change the background of the watch face. Hello? Oh, nice. This unicorn is tremendous though. I would like a pink unicorn. Oh, you can't change the color of the unicorn, only the background. Dang it, Apple. Since there weren't a lot of groundbreaking hardware updates, it makes sense to focus more on the software updates. So there's a sleep tracker now. It'll tell you how long you were in bed and how long you slept for. Although it doesn't have quite the same amount of information as some other third party sleep tracking softwares. That actually ties in really nicely with the slightly faster charger. It'll apparently fully charge in about two hours, meaning that you can kind of, um, you know, SIP charge it here and there in order to try and take advantage of those sleep tracking features. They've got some new fitness features so you can have preset workouts now. And there's apparently a hand washing timer. I, I wanna find that. <laughs> Look, hand washing, hand washing app, David. Apple Watch can detect when you're washing your hands and start a 20 second timer. Can I get some sound effects here? You're not doing well enough. You're not doing a good enough job, David. Nope. Uh, get wet? Yeah, maybe it needs to get wet. Uh, LTTstore.com, I need a water bottle. Here we go, turning on the tap. Da, da, da. Oh, slowly, slowly. We gotta make it last for a bit. It's gotta start a Siri. Why is Siri coming up right now? Yep, we're just about out of water now. Okay. All right, well, it was worth a shot. Thanks, Brandon. Sure. Uh, Fitness Plus service is coming. So it's gonna be like fitness tracking and workout videos. I mean. Good luck with that. Let's go ahead and try the blood oxygen measurement. How do I do it, like now? Uh, someone should strangle you. Uh, wow. <laughs> Tell me how you really feel. <laughs> oh, here it is, blood oxygen. Checking my blood oxygen. 98%. Ow! <laughs> Well, how many is that? That's gotta be six already. <laughs> Come on! <laughs> and this, this is why my Apple Watch that I daily drive is not connected to anything. If you can't trust it, how can you make like personal health decisions based on it? If it works a third of the time, my blood pressure is probably going up just being frustrated by this thing not working right. To be clear, Apple's not pitching the blood oxygen thing as it's a medical device. They're just saying that it's like, well, it's there. It's not like FDA approved or anything like that. It's just, it's in there. Can you use an Apple Watch with an Android device? No, unfortunately you can't. That's one of the things I'd really like to see Apple clue into at some point that customers who don't buy it right or buy the entire ecosystem are still potential customers. I would actually love to use an Apple Watch with my Android phone. Um, that could be an amazing experience. There's a lot of things that I love about what Apple does and the watch is frankly one of them. I mean, the hardware is just, even though they've barely touched this design in like what, five years or six years or whatever it is, it's still so much better than what anyone who's not cloning Apple is doing that 
Um, I, I, yeah, I would, I would absolutely love to use an Apple Watch with my Android phone. So there's not a lot new here, which has some people questioning the need for Apple to even continue with annual releases, but I think I can probably provide some insight into that. One of the things that we've discovered running LTTstore.com LTTstore.com, is that one of the best promotional things that you can do is launch a new product. It works way better than offering a discount or a shipping promotion or even like conventional marketing because that's what gets people interested in talking. Like, what's new? Not like what already existed but is probably a good product and good value. So even though the new Apple Watch just has a slightly better processor, slightly brighter ambient display, it's about the same price. So yeah, I guess better is better. I'm not gonna complain about it. And I understand why they're doing it so that we'll all talk about it. Cause I wasn't gonna make another video about the series five, right? And yet here I am with the series six, even though it's like, eh. And the SE. And the SE. Yeah, but the SE doesn't have an always on display. So it's not a watch. Oh, really? Yeah, it's the stupid gesture nonsense again. So subscribe to Short Circuit for more casual videos like this, where we, you know, go through hand washing simulation, ha hand washing simulator. Here, let's try again. Try, no, we're not gonna try that again. Okay, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try it one more time. One more time without the water. You ready, David? Yep. Yeah, Jono, can you do the sound effects for me? Hold, hold on, hold on. Ask you way louder. Did I turn the faucet, Jono? Oh, I'm sorry, it's all Okay, automatic. okay, you ready? We're trying here. The smiling freaking unicorn taunting me. Yeah. <laughs>